So lately, I've been on a quest to imagine what every starter Pokemon can be like with a regional variant evolution, and we have come up with some great stuff so far. Today, though, is the grand finale, at least for now, because we are down to four starters that I have not covered, and in this video, we are going to cover them and give them some regional variants of their very own. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first variant we are covering in today's video is actually the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. And it's a variant because this isn't the typical Manscaped promo. Manscaped provides awesome products like the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra, which is designed to keep you groomed and help you keep you looking and feeling your best. And that's a little more important in April because April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer in men aged ages 15 to 35, and Manscaped wants to make sure everyone is taken care of in this regard. They're donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society as a part of this effort, and are offering their Lawnmower 5.0 razor for 20% off so you can also take care of yourself to the best possible degree. The Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra comes equipped with skin-safe technology which prevents nicks and cuts, it's cordless, rechargeable, it has interchangeable blade heads, it has an LED light built into it that you can toggle on and off, and it's even waterproof. So it's honestly a phenomenal razor that can help you keep looking your best, feeling your best, and making sure you stay that way. So pick it up for 20% off by using my link in the description below and code HOOPSVGM at checkout. And you'll even get free shipping along with that as well. It also helps out the channel too, which is definitely super appreciated. So check that out and a big thank you to Manscaped for supporting the channel. Alrighty, so today we're going to be covering Incineroar, Rillaboom, Skeledurge, and Quackwaval. And I'm going to start with Incineroar because the possibility of a regional variant Incineroar has been on the minds of lots of people lately with the reveal of Pokemon Legends ZA, and Litten being a potential candidate to be one of the starters in that game. So if that happened, what could a regional variant Incineroar look like, you may ask? Well, maybe something like this. Meet my concept for an Incineroar of the regional variety. Shout out to my man Oscar as always for drawing the artwork of the designs in this video and be sure to check him out with the links in the description. With this design in particular though, the big thing that I wanted to do, just for the heck of it, was put Incineroar on all fours, because that is probably the biggest criticism of its design from many fans, myself included, especially with what's happened over the past few generations with all of the bipedal starters. I honestly doubt though that Game Freak would actually change Incineroar that drastically if they did actually do a variant themselves, but like I said, it's what the people want, so I just decided to say to heck with it and do it anyway. From that simple idea though is what actually brought about a super sick design, because the next step for this Incineroar was to pick its typing. Obviously, it had to stay Fire-type as a starter, and I wasn't about to make it Fighting, and there are a bunch of other types as well, like Dragon or Flying or Bug, that just don't work. So ultimately, with what was left over, I settled on Rock, because it would make for a cool, interesting type combination in Fire-Rock, and it's something that isn't impossible either, like the Bug-type is. Just don't put any water near this guy, because he's not a fan. With the typing now in place though, that really brings everything together full circle here. Shout out to my brain on this next part, because it kinda just took over from here, but my first thought at this point, when it came to the rock type for this Pokemon, was the Stone Age. Yeah, that is probably really basic and uncreative, but it actually works here really well, because with Incineroar being a tiger, we can use this Stone Age idea to make it a Sabertooth tiger, and now we have a legit theme for this Pokemon. 
This also works because at this point, if a starter Pokemon is going to get a regional variant, it's probably going to be in a Legends game, and with Legends ZA now on the way, in addition to Legends Arceus, it seems like these games are going to be taking place in the past, at least for these two games anyway. And this feeds into this regional Incineroar even more, since Sabertooth Tigers are obviously an extinct species of the past. Finally, the cherry on top to this whole thing is something that provides justification for this Pokemon becoming quadrupedal, so not only is it cool, but it also has a reason for being there and isn't just random. That reason is, with the past Stone Age theme, that between the regional variant and the normal Incineroar, that this would represent this Pokemon evolving over time and going from walking on four legs with the variant to walking on two with the more modern day day in Cineroar. This fits the Stone Age vibes, it would fit thematically in a Legends game that takes place in the past, and it honestly, in my opinion, just ties the whole design together in a really nice, neat little bow. So I really like this idea, and I also love how Oscar portrayed that idea to where it's sort of in a transitional state between four legs and two legs in its artwork, so kudos to him once again. Overall, my consensus is that I am not an Incineroar fan, but I would be a fan of this design if it was real. And to be honest, it would actually raise my overall opinion of Incineroar quite significantly, but that's just my opinion, so you guys are going to have to let me know how you feel about this design in the comments below. Let's move on though and talk about another fire type. This time, it's Skeledurge, and if Skeledurge ever gets a regional variant somewhere down the road, this is what it could look like. I began this design by trying to figure out what the heck a Skeledurge variant could be based around in the first place. So I started my search, naturally, by looking up some crocodile monsters within the various folklores of the world, and that is when I came across Sobek. Sobek is an ancient Egyptian deity, which is always a fun point of inspiration, and Egypt, specifically ancient Egypt in particular, evokes a lot of themes of the past, which ties into my whole point earlier about starters getting variants in Legends games, which to this point seem like they're taking place in the past. So Egyptian Skeledurge is what I decided to go with with that in mind, and honestly, anything that brings us closer to an Egyptian Pokemon region is always going to be a good thing to go with in my book. The next thing to do though was then to figure out the typing, but with an Egyptian deity based Pokemon, it wasn't really that hard, which is why I went with Psychic for a fire psychic type combination, because Psychic and supernatural deities obviously go together pretty well. The Psychic type is also where the Gold comes into play within this Pokemon's design, because Gold, particularly in Pokemon, is known to be associated with Psychic powers and the Psychic type. And Gold is also a color that is well known to be tied to Egypt as well, with their sarcophagi and their jewelry and all of their other stuff within that culture that is notably painted and colored gold. So this is another design that just fit together really well, all things considered. The other big thing with Skeledurge's design, though, is the little firebird that sits on its nose. So, where is that in the design, you may be asking? Well, this Skeledurge just ate him. That's what happened. On a real note, though, obviously it is a big part of Skeledurge's design, but we just weren't able to really find a place for it in this design specifically, which personally I'm not too miffed about because the bird is just a flame anyway, which naturally can just change its shape and be something else. Honestly, we could just say that it ended up on Skeledurge's tail, and that's how that whole situation happened. And speaking of that fire tail, maybe since this guy is hypothetically from the past and is themed around ancient Egypt, maybe that's where we could say the Charmander family broke off and evolved from. Point is, there is a lot of fun you can have with this design, bird present or not, and overall it turned out great in my opinion. And like I said, seeing some more Egypt stuff in Pokemon would also just be really cool to see. As great as that would be though, let's take a look at another type of Pokemon, like the grass type Rillaboom. Rillaboom has never been my favorite starter ever, and it comes from arguably one of the weakest starter trios ever, so a variant is definitely in order here. Meet regional variant Rillaboom. 
Conceptually, I did my best here, and overall, I think this one ended up alright. With Rillaboom being based around music and more or less being a rock star, I thought changing the genre of music of this Pokemon would be a good way to give this Pokemon a variant, which is why I ultimately went with a classical vibe reminiscent of Beethoven or Mozart. This provides some good contrast to Rillaboom's current design, and again, if you feel like beating a dead horse, it does give off the past vibes that would fit well in a Legends title. Being based on both music and classical music in particular made me feel like Grass Fairy would be a good type combo for this design. It definitely needs a second type in general to not only be different from normal Rillaboom, but also just to redeem the Galar starters a little bit who are all monotyped, so I feel like overall Grass Fairy works here pretty well. There was some challenge with this design though, and that came in the form of this Pokemon's freaking hair. Rillaboom's hair is like the key point of its design, and Game Freak did a great job of making it look good and also natural, because it is hard to give Pokemon human-like hair and not have it feel goofy, at least in my own opinion. So that was the biggest overall challenge with this design for me, but overall I think we turned out okay. We went for that Beethoven type look to go with the composer theme, it also looks like a bush cause he's a grass type, and then you've also got all of these fun little composer conductor details like the bow tie and the suit coat and the shirt cuffs and the fancy white gloves, so yeah, this design feels alright in my opinion. This next variant though, I have saved specifically for the end of the video because it is my favorite of the bunch and it concerns Quackwaval. Now, Quackwaval is not my favorite at all. I don't really like its design, and overall, I just don't think it's a very good Pokemon. But I feel like the design that I'm about to show you totally redeems it, at least from my own perspective. Meet regional variant Quackwaval. This guy is amazing, and I absolutely love the way he turned out. At first, I was like, how the heck am I going to do a variant of Quackwaval? Because not only do I not like it, but it just feels like a hard Pokemon to give a regional variant to based on its design. But after a lot of thought, I ended up landing on something that I think is a perfect concept, and that is Native American dancing. Native American culture is well known for its dances that are performed for various ceremonies and rituals, and they often are performed with the performers being dressed in feathered clothing. So dancing and an association with birds made this the perfect concept for a Quackwaval variant in my opinion, because just in case you didn't know, Quackwaval is a bird and also is heavily and centrally themed around a concept of dancing. And in general, I also thought this would help Quackwaval's design a lot as well. With the Native American Association, I thought Quackwaval could also naturally go from more of a peacock-like design that it is currently to more of a eagle-based design in this variant, and that just helped it to look all the more awesome in my opinion. The typing for this Pokemon, meanwhile, was a bit of a challenge, but I ultimately settled on Water Ghost due to the spiritual nature of Native American culture, as well as the spiritual nature of many of the dances that are performed within Native American culture. I thought that this was perfect as well, as not only does it fit, but anytime you add the ghost type to something, it's just gonna up its coolness by default. So this design really turned out just so awesome in my opinion. I honestly thought that this one had a ton of potential right away from a concept standpoint, and I really wanted to redeem Quackwaval as well, at least in my own eyes anyway, so I really put a lot of thought into this one, and also shout out to Oscar once again for helping me make all of this turn out so well as well, and with that said, I really do think this one turned out great, and in my opinion, it takes Quackwaval from kind of a lame Pokemon to a super, super cool one. What do you think about these variants though? Be sure to let me know in the comments and be sure to check out the other videos in this series as well because I have now covered every starter Pokemon Final Evolution to this point with a regional variant. 
If you want to support the channel further as well in videos just like this, you can also check out my Pokemon remixes over on Spotify or wherever you get your music, which is super appreciated and helps out a ton. And you can also give this video a like as well if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already to help out as well. Thanks a ton as always for watching this video, it is super appreciated, I'll be back with another one very soon, and until then, as always, I will smell you guys later.